BMNG, 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 YBR, that's the name of the game and the person playing it. So let's go to a track today. We got Super Stunt Track version 1.31. So it has a, a couple of things in the description to point out. A recommended vehicle, some capable vehicles, and some tips. We'll talk about all those once we're actually in the track. And it's easier to point things out that way. So here we are. That was actually faster than I expected. So, capable vehicles, there's about five or six of them. But only two of them are stock vehicles. One of them is this, the stripped down version of the truck. The other one is a stripped down version of the van. So those are the H series and D series gravel pickups and vans like that. These are the two that are the capable vehicles. So they could do it, but you might have to try a little bit harder than the recommended vehicle. We'll talk about the recommended vehicle, vehicle in just one second. But first, let's look at this. Right there you got like a little thing that says the name of the map and it has like a weave or something that goes through it. I don't know. But it's a fancy font. Nice all really fancy and stuff. Kind of nice. So let's go ahead and do some of the track and then we'll switch over to the recommended vehicle. So one thing that's really stupid about me is anytime I see something I can crash my car into, I usually do. For example, this tree, they want you to take the turn wide or I could crash right into it. Ah, look at that. Uh, that's partially the reason why these cars are not the recommended ones is because you can hit the trees like that. The recommended one is another stock vehicle, thankfully it's the Bolide. And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, let me actually do this a little different, let me go like this. No matter how you do it, you cannot hit the trees with the Bolide. Unless you hit it on the side like that. But, but you don't get the roof damage. The roof damage is fun. So those are the capable and recommended vehicles. Like I said, there are four other capable ones, but they're not stock vehicles, so I'm not going to talk about them too much. But you can go ahead and pause it back there and see what they are. Just install the map yourself and read it. So the other thing is the tips. There are two tips. One is to use a controller, which just gives you some more precision when you turn. So like you can see how you can turn little bits. In the, like I'm trying to show it while I'm in the air. That's probably a stupid idea. I could just look at the wheels. Here. Like you can see, that's a little bit of turn, that's a little more, that's a little more, that's a lot, you know. That's why I use analog controller. The other tip is to use a better camera angle than this one, basically. And here's why. There's loop-de-loops and such like this. It's, it's basically a giant Hot Wheels track. But there's loop-de-loops like this. And if you try to do a loop-de-loop -loop with this camera angle, I wish you luck. Because you can't see which way you're going, which way is up, which way, you can't see nothing. And usually end up missing and crashing like that, which is bad news. So, if you do do that, you're gonna want to switch to either this view, this view, or this view. Really, any of them can work. The easiest is probably the hood view, though. And with the hood view, it's a breeze to just get through this like this, no problem. So no problem whatsoever. So, supposedly, you could do this whole thing without damaging your car a single bit. Technically, that's been true so far, but I doubt it'll be true this whole time. But we'll, we'll see. Alright, so let's go up this hill. It looks actually a lot worse in this camera angle than the other one. Like, it looks really close here, and then you go to that one, and it's like, oh, I have lots of space. It's funny like that. Alright, go around that container. Almost crashed it, but I didn't. That's good. Alright, so I'm going to probably do another reset in a second. Because coming up is what I would say is the hardest part of the whole map. Because it requires a very good precision about what speed you go. So, let me do a reset right here because I can shut this off. Uh, if you go too fast, you miss it. If you go too slow, you miss it. So, for example, here's too fast. So, what it is, it's a loop-de-loop -loop jump thing that doesn't have a top. So, if you go too fast, you just totally miss it. You go, whoops, too fast, and, well, yeah, you totally miss it. You can get lucky and land on the track, but I don't know what good it'll do you. You have a wrecked car. Totally wrecked. And it's also easy to go too slow through it. So you can try to do it, you know, you're like, oh, I'm not going to go too fast, and then you go too slow. So, like this, for example. 
Oh no, too slow. But there wasn't, if you were paying attention, there wasn't that much variance in those two speeds. They were actually, you know, not that big of a difference, I would say. So like, for example, this one will be a little bit faster and probably too fast, but watch, it's not that different from the other one. That was actually a good one. All right, good. I was thinking I was gonna go a little too fast because that's what I have a habit of doing, but that was a good one. And that was actually a no damage, that was a no damage one, so that was perfect. I'm proud of myself there. Like I said, you can do this whole track without getting damaged, supposedly, in one run. I've done everything individual piece without getting damaged, but all in one run, I don't know. So right there, you just gotta slow down a bit, otherwise you'll fly and crash and die never good. So this is a little bit difficult to do without getting damaged, but it's easy to make if you just want to make it. So here we go. That's too fast bit. Ah, that's all right. No real damage there. So that's basically a damage free lap of the track. You know, splice it together with the things that are showing how you could do things wrong and it's a damage free run. And that's a lap. So it'll probably be an interesting track to actually race against people on when that update eventually comes. You could have the AI chasing you, but they'll just fall off, I would assume. So you could also, though, anytime you fall off, uh, I actually broke the transmission on that last jump, so I guess it wasn't really perfect. But anyways, uh, anytime you fall off, you end up yeah in the desert that's down below. And if you wanted to, you could drive around on it. I know, it's just like, ooh, look at the desert. But there's not much to really, like, not of interest. It's just like, yep, there's a desert. You can drive on it. It's just a backdrop for the track, really. Crash. You crash into things, whatever. Uh, but the track itself does just kind of float in place. It doesn't... Like, it has pillars, but it's not logically placed. Like, there's no way that can support itself over there. You see that? It's like, no way. So that is the track. That's uh, the whole thing, really. So till next time, this is my BR. Let's go ahead and drop the car off the edge, and I'll see you.